Hi, konnichiwa, domo haru desu. And today, we are here with another tutorial video, but it's kind of a, a remake, uh, the remake series, but it's not actually a series because I'm just putting it on the Minecraft tutorial build thing. But you get what I mean. But anyways, it says in the description or title of the video, we'll be making the Shinobi House or Shinobi House Ninja House. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a while for me starting a tutorial, so I'm just gonna start fresh with a smaller build, make my way up again, but a lot of builds will be bigger. But anyways, oh yeah, also, the update came out, so now I can change, instead of sleeping, instead of using that, that lousy bed I used in my other tutorials, I can just set it to day now on the Xbox One. Alright, so, I mean, it's up to you for right now, you can either build it on the grass or on the sand, but preferably the sand because I'll show you the final product of how it will look if you built it on uh, this building in your own area if you're looking for an inch house or whatnot. But anyways, let us start off here. I'm just gonna start building over here. So you want to place a chiseled stone block, and just for to help people out more easier, I will put a blue block right here just to indicate you can do it also just to help you out so the blue block should be facing that way or on top just looking down so what you want to do now is so it faces left and what you want to do is move right skip two sand blocks or whatnot block you have <laughs> place another one so it's like that and you want to do it three more times after I place that one so here's one two three so it's five in a row like that so now you want the blue wool facing over there or on the top and you now you want to move right skip two again place another skip two place another skip two place another and that's it so it's going to be a five by four kind of area but I mean it'll still go on but uh yeah now you want to kind of make a square like kind of connecting dots whatever so now you move well, I'm, I'm pointing at the screen, but you can't see, but you know, you know what I did right here. Like, skip two from either of these blocks right here, so that forms a square. Place another, makes a rectangle. Place another over here, that makes a longer rectangle. Now, if you place it over here, it's the L from Tetris. <laughs> uh, doing it again, that makes some weird shape I don't know of, and over here, a longer, wider rectangle. Again, do the same thing, like this boom now it's a square so now the final block over here the opposite side of the blue wool leave that alone and this one over here so you want that blue wool over there facing to your left from this block you want to move four blocks right and then place another chest of stone so there's four space in between and now you want the blue wool facing north or up whatever <laughs> so now we will move right skip four again place a block like so so you're pretty much making another square here so you move four blocks up again place another block so it'll be like that I'll go overhead view so larger square smaller square but this one will not have any uh, like inner ones like that or yeah it will just be like this but then over here on the right side extension you want to place another stone brick so that that is the connection point to this building here so now let's see I can get rid of this blue wool now hopefully but then let's take out some spruce fence and replace the blue wool so now what you want to do is place the spruce fence on top of all the chiseled stone to so do that now Okay, once you've done that, we will start making the entranceway into the shinobi house. So starting from this corner here, not from the, the little outer area here, we'll start from this corner here. So you want to place, use and place spruce, uh, spruce logs, four high. You want to do the same thing to the opposite side over here, like so. 
and then you want to do it to the other two on the adjacent side like so voila then now you want to connect all of them well let's start from top so use our yeah use it sideways the uh, the blocks the spruce wood like so so you make the connection to the box or square actually box x yeah, since it's three-dimensional but that let's see all right from the side from both sides over here and here you want to connect them also like this so now it's taking the form or shape of a house or Asian style house I guess but now from the entrance this will be the entrance area like this so now you want to stack up right here break the block there and you want to do it to the other side here no you place it sideways here but then leave this one open because this will be the doorway into the larger room but as for the front door you want to do what I just did here stack up two blocks break the other one so this will be standing up because you don't want to walk in and have it facing like this well for me personally it just looks disgusting <laughs> but yeah just keep it like this so it still look still shows the brown or the log I guess so now you want to take or use snow you can use quartz or uh, white wool if you want but you know, obviously you should know me by now with these tutorials I like using snow depending on the building though if it's more modern then uh, quartz but anyways from the both sides you want to use snow the center use a black wool and you want to do the same thing to the opposite side from this side like that and now from the entrance way you want to put white nope I was about to say white wool you want to use snow right there so now it has some walls up like so so now we'll get into kind of the flooring and once we're done with the flooring we'll move on to the bigger room so now you want to take out spruce wood slabs and oak wood slabs so from here put upside down spruce wood slabs like so and then make some stepping stones right here to get up because you cannot jump over uh, three blocks two and a block uh, two and a half blocks high so yeah it's the stepping stone so it also if you want to put blocks up here you can personally I don't like rooms or doorways or I don't have any jumping space so like I don't know you can take it out but for the purpose of the video we'll just uh, leave it in and then once you put those upside down on the top you can put these over here another two spruce wood slabs just for a little overhang for uh, for rain not to drop on the stairs or this front porch area so once you walk in use the birch wood slabs place it all over the floor here of course upside down away from the floor as you can see like so so once you get to this area you want to use blocks but I'm just gonna put spruce here make it faster and use the the new birch door that came with the update because it looks more of a Japanese paper door I forgot what it's called tatami door I think I don't know but anyways yeah this is how it should look so when you walk in just pure emptiness the door you walk in you know the door is supposed to slide but it's minecraft oh, I know there's a mod for it anyways now let's see we need spruce wood uh, let's see I don't need sand anymore so so let's start with the, the bigger room over here so now you want to take out uh, we need oak wood slabs let's replace the fence yeah oak wood slabs and oak wood planks so starting let's see let's start over here at the corner 
So you also want to stack up four blocks. Over here, four blocks. And over here, four blocks. It'll be the same over here. I forgot where to put the others, but we'll start from the opposite side. This is this is the view room to look into your Zen Garden if you made one. So make sure starting looking from here, your left side of the building is looking at your Zen Garden or whatever you made for viewable purposes. Yeah. So now starting from over here, you want to place two oak wood planks on the opposite side, two oak wood planks, and then oak slabs all across here. And then now you want to put some stepping stones, three here, uh, spruce or uh, stone. Well, I don't know, it just depends on you. But three is preferably, not five, that it just looks too many and it looks ugly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you also want to do here, from the this side, you want to place some of the white. Oh, I was about to say white wool again, it's snow. So then now you also want to put some oak planks on top here, on top of the snow, like so. And now you want to take out some stairs, birch stairs, and you want to go inward inside the building, as you can see, place it upside down and connect it to the other side, like this. So it has some room over here like once you step inside and this will be kind of the the lip or the overhanger whatnot so now let's start off with the sides connecting so let's start off from the front again if you look on the the outer side here you connect it sideways and from above same thing up here connect it from above connect this side from above and now where the uh, the birchwood planks are or planks the fences and I said birch to spruce you have to place it regularly like this but then now you connect it like this so anywhere that has exposed um, on the outer side though only as an exposed spruce fences, just stack them uh, regularly, and then the empty area just connect them like this. Now, of course, the the the, uh, the inner area you just place blocks and all that. But we're gonna finish the outer walls and then the other uh, roof and then interior. I guess I don't know, but yeah. So now. We start from the right side here, so all you just have to do is place your snow or whatever block you prefer right there. Uh, and now from the right side of the building, you place two snow rows, skip two, place another two, oh no, another three rows of that, skip two, put another two. Uh, like that and then you place a black wall in between so I guess it kind of looks like windows but then again you can't see from the inside I don't know I was thinking of using um, the black stained glass but I mean I'll, I'll try it on later but not during this video and now let's see from the back side let me switch pictures because I took the pictures of the building because <laughs> For sure I'm not going to remember all of this let's see so of course in the middle you place snow here this one's going to be a little different you just put one row of snow there and then uh, two rows of black wool like that so now it already forms the windows and all that so just leave it all uh, snow for right now and now I guess you can just place, uh, yeah, just pretty much fill in everything here with your birch slabs. Okay, so now once you've done that, we are now almost done with the building. 
paksu or clap that means clap in Korean I think I said it right paksu but yeah uh, now we'll start with the roof so now you want to take out some spruce wood stairs and now from both sides you want to start from the fourth block well this area doesn't count I guess I guess from yeah the fourth block up here because you didn't place anything on top just uh, make a row of stairs uh, extend it out one time so yeah like this and you want to do it the same on the other like how I'm doing like so like that like don't go all the way out here because this area would just look weird with with uh, a roof and now you basically just have to connect each side with each other so uh, over here also you place some upside down stairs there so it'll be like that and now you want to connect them so let us connect them now obviously just put the spruce stairs just next just going up basically um, yeah so just do it now and then uh, right after we finish doing all the stairs uh, we'll do like all the, the fillings and stuff so yeah <laughs> so while I place these stairs I guess I can talk about any future videos I'll be doing so a lot of videos are going to be like just for myself personally like a comeback pretty much so because I've not been recording in uh, as the people say and according to YouTube which is very helpful it's like six months and probably a couple days <laughs> or whatever yeah it's been a very very long time and uh, also the reason why I haven't been uploading is because I mean like when you record videos you want everything to turn out fine and in my case scenario it did not because it just pooped like a lot all my files because I already recorded recorded <laughs> I don't know what that guy said I said like gibberish but yeah I recorded already everything you guys wanted to see like the Japanese castle I made two more pagoda tutorials uh, the, they're, they're both Japanese but they're different um, I did uh, townhouses like old Japanese townhouses from like the samurai age um, what else what else did I do um, I don't know I just did so many and I don't know all those files just got corrupted and it just it made me sad uh, I took a very long break but that's not that's not the main reason why I haven't been putting videos up is because I've been traveling and I've been too much busy with studying and all that so yeah Biane Biane Yorbun Oh yeah, well, let's get back to the tutorial now. <laughs> so once you finish stacking all the way, it uh, it probably got a bit confusing here when I think, but basically, again, just stack your way up, connecting it. So it doesn't form like a, an extra block area, like just an extra tip. Like it won't be like that. It's just combined so that's how it should look like this so now on the very top you want to use spruce blocks or um, what is it slabs like this uh, on the top for decoration they're not actually decoration they're supposed to be uh, I think logs it's just to hold up all the uh, the hay and stuff because Japanese 
or like old Japanese buildings and stuff use hay for the roof and then on the very top it's just a long log and then connecting logs and all that but yeah anyways we are done with the roof and the majority of the building so yeah we will move on into fillings in the area interior and we should be done anyways let us continue on let's actually start with the filling so we'll finish off the exterior of the building and then to the interior so what you want to guys or what you want to do here I meant <laughs> so from the entrance area on top of this you or on top of the spruce wood put snow and then right above it put uh, sideways spruce logs and now we're gonna do the same thing here but uh, that's just you start let's start from the back and then you can mirror it on the other side so right in the inner blocks the inner black wool you want to stack all the way up until it reaches the top like this so the inner block the black inner block like this and then do the same thing how I did on the smaller side and just put it sideways to connect it so it looks like that and now you want to do it on the other side the same way obviously there's no black wool over here so just based on the other side just mirror it like so and voila so it should look like that and now of course you just place your snow or white wool on the the empty areas or empty spaces so once you've done all the filling like that so let's take a look from the outside it looks magnificent muy bueno <laughs> but now after we've done that you want to now use your spruce wood stairs again and from the kind of the overhang of the roof you want to place it upside down so it makes the roof more thicker and I don't know better <laughs> so yeah just keep placing it upside down like so until they connect to each other right there facing the opposite way so now it looks more more like a roof instead of just retarded stairs looking like that I mean it's still stairs don't get me wrong <laughs> but I mean it just makes it look better so you want to do the same over here I forgot what I did on this side I may have to check if I put a blocker or not but yeah just pretty much stack upside down or place upside down stairs like that so actually makes a thicker roof and it just looks better of course <laughs> so you want to do the same thing to the other side boom 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 bah, oh, bah, oh, bah. there we go <laughs> so once you've done that that should be it for the exterior but we'll put torches later because those are practically not important at the moment so now we move on into the interior so starting from the main entrance where you take off your shoes and all that to enter in the other room so now up here you just want to place upside down uh, spruce stairs again so in the interior it looks uh, inclined I guess or I don't know I don't know what the heck you call it but just a better looking roof <laughs> um, I don't think I, I put any supporting beams here I'm pretty sure so let's just walk in and it looks very spacious but we'll start adding a room a little table to eat on my last ninja house tutorial didn't have the stuff I'm going to build in besides the little shrine on the, the corner there because I used to have training dummies here but now I'm just making it like a this is practically like a meetup house or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's a smaller house, 
but I will be making another version of a shinobi house, but it will be called a shinobi den or a dojo. So it'll be a it'll be a grand building with with like a, a yin yang or the like a shuriken uh, like outside fighting area. I've already started working on it somewhere. I'm not gonna tell you, but yeah. So start from the inside, you want to do the same thing like you did in the smaller room and just place upside down spruce wood. Alright, so now once you finish that, we will start making all the rooms and stuff. So let me swap over to the picture of the interior because yeah. <laughs> so let us start off over here. So you want to break um hmm these ones here so from I guess if you're looking towards the wall here like if you walk in looking towards the wall on your right side and the middle break the blocks here until it connects with this lone uh, lone plank not plank uh, log like so so break all of this like that like an L shape and now from there just make, uh, put it sideways besides the middle one. Of course, you want to do the same thing. Break, uh, place it from under, stack, destroy the bottom one. Uh, and then you want to do the same thing here. And place another, well, you want to do the same thing right there. It will be like this. Even though, oh no. It will look kind of weird too, so you have to do, oh no, 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 no. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, do it like this, because this is going to be the, the shrine room area. So once you've placed like this, obviously you leave this area here uh, alone. So this will be the entrance way. And now we need to take out some spruce. I already have. So place a, a full block there. There will be a door here. So use those doors and place it there. But for now, let, uh, let's put the the snow blocks so from here just stack up to matching the others to so do that now this one will not have a pillar like this or a stack just fill it in with white wool or snow and then you want to do the same thing up through here but of course you want to uh, make it standing because it will just be retarded like that <laughs> And then from here you just uh, build across. So this will be another doorway into the shrine room. Uh, let's see, also from above this you want to put uh, spruce slabs on top. And then from the inside here you want to destroy those and place uh, actual blocks. So it should look like that from the outside here and the inside here. Actually, pretty much like inside section. This is still the inside, so that's how it looks like there. And right here. Let's actually make it morning because it's kind of dark. And not when I say kind of, it's really dark. Because I have the light on, and the light on makes it too dark. I get <laughs> But yeah. Anyways, once you've done the room, let us actually finish up the room. So now you want to take out some stone blocks, place it around making a upside down U shape, and then uh oh yeah, and now you place a where is it a cauldron, so whip that out, place it there, and now you want to get a painting which will take a while and what else what else what else redstone torch so now you just oh almost had it you just want to get the I don't know if you have a painting of a person or someone from like the Japanese age oh, oh god dang it well first put the torch and then use the painting <laughs> the redstone torch just to make uh, the room a bit brighter but still dim Come on, come on, come on. 
Jabal. Saga. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang it. Oh, there we go. Alright. Oof. Almost tried to broke that. This one, I don't know. It just makes it more... It's just a, a statue of a person. You don't know who it is. Well, yeah, you just put your donations in there. Uh, yeah, pretty much the the shrine room. Uh, I'll put torches later, but for now, this that will have to do. So once you've done that, starting from the top, we'll now make the support beams, and I believe it starts from here. Uh, let's see. All right, so to make it easier. From this row here, move up one block from this uh, the connecting log. You pretty much want to place it upside down on the second block now. So moving from their back wall, skip three, and then place the uh, this uh, the slab right there, and then take out the stair and replace it with the block. Now you want to connect it to the other side and do the same thing break that and make it into a block uh, do the same thing to the other side you want to skip three like so connect it to the other side break that block make it a full block break this make it a full block like that and now the other support beam let's see I think it's, is it down the middle? No, it's not. It's through here. Oh yeah, so from the very edge, you just want to place it till there before it touches the, uh, the other side right here. Did I actually do it right? I'm actually, uh, yeah, I, I did it right. So from the very end right there, just, uh, place some spruce spruce slabs uh, but not touching the last area or uh, the back wall and the front wall oh goodness gracious I'm falling apart <laughs> alright so yeah I should look like that so once you've done that you can now take out your stone slab and the flower pot now I guess we can take out the torches. So over here, this will be a little table. Oh, you actually want to break these and make a table like that. And then you can place your rice bowls there. Then you can just sit down and eat with your other shinobi buddies, your domodachis, or your chingu. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that should be it. And now we'll just litter the place with torches out wherever you want. Oh, I also need to put the the birch door here. So it should look like that. You walk in. Let's put a torch there. Did I put I think I put torches here. Yeah, now it makes it a little bit more brighter. So like that. Torch there, torch there. Uh, torch there, torch over here, uh, torch outside, uh, let me switch over to some other pictures, bam, 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 bam. torch over here, torch, 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 torch it. Uh, torch there, there, torch there, uh, let's see, torch here, torch here, torch here, <laughs> uh, where did I put these torches at, nah, alright, put them up here, okay, so now the interior and everything should be done, I'm not sure what I'm missing, I guess we're for detail uh, looks and all that just take out some flower pots spruce saplings uh, the chiseled cracked stone or not cracked stone brick 
Uh, what should we use here? Hmm. Where's the... There, you want spruce wood fence. And the black carpet. Oh, also a cauldron and some water. So over here, you can make a, a little water fountain. So one block from both the walls, just skip, place, uh, place something like that. Oh, you also want the stone, like that. Or just stack up uh, one, or yeah, make two, boom, 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 boom. So that's uh, the little water, water, water fountain. <laughs> um, uh, did I put here? You can put two pots there. You can put two over here also. Uh, let's put it like that. You can put different plants of course. But uh, yeah, that should be it for this tutorial. Um, there's not really anything that should be in here unless you want to add some more tables. Like for instance, little table right here so you can sit down and drink your tea while looking out uh, seeing your ninja's train and whatnot. Yeah, uh, you can put that table there if you want. So I will now head over to the final product and show you how it will look if it was in this suitable environment. Okay, so now we are here at the front gate into the shinobi house. So this is uh, just a typical gate here for a home or clan so you walk in pretty spacious walk in um, I'm not sure what to do for a gate if it's closed but a lot of a lot of bushery a tree I still need to sakura it up <laughs> uh, let's see more flower pots uh, as you can see I did the same here but this one I did it before the new blocks came out so uh, a lot of these are still like that so now you have the rock zen garden up out on this side as you can see I do not have the door here and I forgot to place this <laughs> oh this one's outside I don't know but I do like the second one that I made because that is usually what when I make the second build it is the better and preferred one I like so the one I just built for you guys that's the one that I like the most so yeah this is how it should or how it will look if you made it similar to how I made mine in a suitable ninja walled off house with the walls and everything so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll be back with more minecraft tutorial well whoa I'm speaking gibberish today minecraft Asian tutorials so yeah expect to see more soon also leave comments on what builds you want to see pretty much your comments are to give me ideas on what I haven't built or things I should build because you guys want to see it um, also a quick respond a message because there's some of you I can't reply to on YouTube um, showcase builds will be on delay because I haven't because there's some of you that want me to make the spirited away bathhouse I am trying to make it but a lot of the blocks don't fit in well with how it looks because there's a lot of different colors like the roof is green and it's just hard to use actual blocks instead of uh, like half slabs to make it more lower but yeah I should end the video now since it's just a tutorial anyways goodbye